My name's Johnny May, and this is my wife, Ann May, and we've been here for 20 years. Very thankful to, to be at this church. It started because we had a son on drugs, and we used to call Pastor Tim and them, and they would come to our house and pray with us and all. Later, we thought, well, we'll visit their church. So we came, and it was like we couldn't... Loved it. <laughs> yeah, it's like we couldn't wait to get back the next Sunday. Afraid we were, you know, we would miss something. And we've never left. We've been here ever since. Do not give up. And don't enable them. But love them and pray for them because they are God's child and He will take care of them. No matter how far you think they've gone, they've never gone too far. And He's helping others now he's, in the program. And, um, he's working in a men's recovery center and he is a um, peer mentor. Pastor Tim's never left, you know. I mean, he's been here from day one and a lot of times you'd think, you know, he's, he's not here for the money. Never you know, has been. Never has been. We started out at Kids Church uh, almost 20 years ago. The kids used to call me Hoopty Man because the, uh, the old the old van I used to drive was called a Hoopty Van. And uh, we used to get a uh, big bus load up in it, and you'd drive down down the road, and everybody, hey, hoopty, hey, hoopty, and all this stuff. And uh, some of the kids that we were teaching now are going to church here now with kids of their own. And uh, it makes you feel good. <laughs> we did kids' church on a, what Wednesday night, and that was just set apart just for kids. We would feed the kids. We would, you know, and uh, a lot of times the kids would come and, and uh, that may be the only meal that they would have that day. And then we would come and uh, pray for the kids' needs. And we had one little boy that he would come and we would ask him what it did he want to pray for. And he said, my mom. I said, well, what about your mom? He said, she died. So I said, well, okay, so I prayed that the, the memories that he would have would be good ones. After it was over with, I talked to Pastor Tim, and I told him, I said, man, I hate it about Kiki's mom. He said, what? I said, hey, Kiki said his mom died. He said, his mom brought him to, to uh, church today. And uh, sure enough, uh, next week, they asked about prayer for what the kids wanted prayer for, and he came back up again. He said, uh, what do you want prayer for, Kiki? He said, my mom. I said, what about your mom? He said, she died. I said, Kiki, didn't, didn't your mom, uh, didn't she bring you to church today? Yeah. Well, she ain't dead then. No, but she's old. <laughs> I don't have no big curriculum. Uh, all I've got is a children's illustrated Bible. It's got pictures in it. A picture's worth a thousand words. The really cool part of it is the kids love me too. Church is growing by word of mouth. So a lot of souls being saved. A lot of families put back together.